So STEPS methods aim to help society appreciate a wider diversity of innovation pathways. And what that means is deliberately highlighting a range of alternative options, often those that meet the interests of more marginalised groups, that tend to get either missed out by mainstream assumptions or actively excluded by powerful vested interests who favour their own approaches to doing things. And in practice what that means is two things really. It means broadening out and opening up the ways in which society informs itself and learns about the political implications of different pathways. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, broadening out is about the inputs to appraisal, the kinds of things that get taken into account in the first place, the issues, the options, the uncertainties, uh, the scenarios that are included, and making those as broad as possible, not just resting attention on the things that are most easily quantified by narrow science-based methods, which still have a role, but which um, sometimes just focus attention on those things that are most easily counted. So you want to broaden out beyond that to inform to, uh, debate much more comprehensively. And what it also means is opening up, which is at the other end of the appraisal process, the way it actually speaks to political debate, and there we're talking about um, treating methods as a servant, not as a master, not expecting methods to determine the decision, but to inform different views, different voices in, in political debate about the implications of different values, different interests, different ways of uh, understanding the options. And so allowing us to have a more transparent and accountable and ultimately more democratic uh, politics of innovation and technology choice.